Good afternoon, everybody. We are here. We are looking good. And I forgot to change the uh, the page up here. Let's get back to a graph. Uh, this is all about Dex tools right here, I guess. All right, Bitcoin sitting at 72,000. Ethereum sitting at 3,600. Dex tools 94 cents up 8% of the day today. Not bad for Dex tools there. Circulating supply continues to come down for Dex tools. It's actually not a bad dashboard. I've never even looked at this dashboard. But, uh, yeah, not a bad dashboard at all, man. See if 3E16 bought back it. Ooh, 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 ooh. 3E16 did not buy back in today, as a matter of fact. He had some more cells coming on out there. And, uh, was it 3? No, it wasn't 3. It's a bot right there. Just a barrage of 3E16 cells today. My goodness, my goodness. Honorarium is on a beautiful discount at the moment. If anybody is interested in purchasing in, it is below the ascending trend line, deep below the ascending trend line. Wow, coming all the way down to five zeros and an 89, currently sitting at four zeros and a 14. Very interesting. Come on, baby girl, you can come up here. There's my girl. There's my girl. All right, cat's in here with us. We are ready to go right now. Also, guys, Keep me updated and uh, let me know, is this okay for my face right here? I mean, does it get covered up by the chat? Is this okay right here? Should I move it? Should I put it somewhere else? I mean, I, I can move it really anywhere, but, uh, you know, I don't know if it should go here. I don't want it to cover up the ship graph. Here kind of covers up. Uh, like, let me know if that's good right there or not. Uh, Barry Turner, hands-free. All right, Barry, good deal on that. Oi, oi, what's going on, Barry? Barry, you saying oi, man? Are you saying hi, or, uh, are you speaking Portuguese? What do we got, man? Leaving us hanging like a coconut. Gergnu, I would never leave you guys hanging like a coconut. We're here, and we're ready to go, man. Uh, let's see, Honorarium took a very large hit today, but we are going to recover. <coughs> Dude, no doubt in my mind you're going to recover. Look, you've always got people that are willing to sell off. And you'll always have new people that are willing to buy in. The only way that you wouldn't recover is if everybody just decided to abandon it. That's the only way. And even at that point, man, if there was one dude left standing, or, I mean, we could have one. I don't know how many girls actually own an honorarium, but if one dude left standing, you could rebuild. It is as easy as that. And that doesn't just go for a cryptocurrency. That goes for literally anything, man. As long as you got one person left standing that is ready to rebuild, you absolutely will, man. Not listening, but watching. Hallelujah. Good riddance. Kalito. Glad to have you in here listening. And, uh, well, I technically... Uh, not listening, but watching. Okay, he says, not listening, but watching. Well, I guess, uh, if you don't want to listen there, just keep it on silent mode. I don't speak sign language, so I won't be able to communicate with you, K Kalito. Good evening to all the future millionaire bros. Owen, I love it, man. I love it. And you know what? I do hope that every single one of you in here reaches million dollar status. Not millionaire status. Meaning you go out there, you buy a house, and, and 10 years down the the road it's worth a million dollars and uh you cash poor i'm talking i want all of you guys to have the assets and one million dollars cash as well <coughs> everyone that has been active in the honorarium community knows that this is the most bullish news since coin market cap what did see that uh 3e16 might be saying goodbye is that what we're talking about is uh is that the bullish news Cleto? Hola, Fox7, what's going on, man? What up, Clay? How the heck are you doing today? Brian, I'm doing great. Ready for the Bitcoin halving. I was born ready, man. I was born ready for the Bitcoin halving. As hard as that might be uh, to, to comprehend, I was born ready for it. Uh, I exited SHIB a couple of days ago. Finally, I bought Honorary. Love the project. Brian, very cool, man. Um... Shiba Inu coin, I know. I hope you made some money on it and you didn't exit in, in some sort of a loss. But if you did, I hope that it was very, very freeing and, and you are ready for the next chapter. Oi, oi, sabaloi, as the Conseil say in London, I'm English. Gotcha. Okay, I don't know what oi, oi, savloi is. Is the Cockneys? I don't know what the... Barry, can you explain it to me, man? Can you explain it to me? Uh, I had, so I had another dude from, I, I think from England that, that said oi to me. Does it mean hi? Because oi is hello or hi. 
hello, olas, hello, uh, oi is hi in Portuguese, so I didn't know if it's, uh, okay, oi, oi, is it save loi, oi, oi, save loi, or savaloi, oi, oi, save loi, basically means hello, mate, gotcha, Owen, thank you, it's a hi, all right, sweet, man, oi, oi, is it savloi, savloi, or savaloi, I want, to, I want to be able to get it right. I misspelled it. <coughs> no, it's all right, dude. <coughs> Misspell whatever you want. I don't care. I, I just want to know how to say it in case one of you guys comes on in. Uh, oi, oi, savloi. All right. Oi, oi, savloi. Very, very nice, man. Oi, oi, savloi to you, Barry, and maybe Owen as well. Let's see. Long-term retirement portfolio. Sold IWMY. 110 shares. Bought... Ma oh, very nice. Bought Marathon Digital 100 shares. Sold cover calls for 419 at a buck 30. Nice, dude. Uh, Roth. Uh, wait. At what price? At what strike? Dude, there's no way you sold Marathon Digital. Maybe for a dollar thirty premium, right? Is it for a dollar thirty premium? Marathon Digital is nowhere near dollar thirty, is it? Do they like split or something? Uh, let's see. Mara hundred share. Oh, uh, sold IMWI about hundred shares of Mara. Sold cover calls four nineteen buck twenty seven. Sold QQQY hundred five shares. Bought CLSK hundred shares. Sold cover calls four nineteen dollar ten. Look at that premium, baby. No, I see it. Okay, so that's the premium. What uh, what price? What strike did you sell those those Maras at, man? I don't know where CLSK is at off the top of my head. Uh, Junaid Shake or Shake, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel, guys. If you want your name on the top of the screen, make sure to click that subscribe button. I truly do want to say thank you to everyone who believes in honorary. I mean, it does mean a lot to me, and this is something that I greatly appreciate. Oh, absolutely, Dark Bro, man. You know we do. Uh, let's and, and you know what? E even though honorarium is down in price today. <sighs> Look, dude, I am tempted to buy some more, and I may buy some more honorarium. But at the same time, I'm happy with what I got. Uh, the amount that I have, I never even worry about looking at it. And, and I kind of want to keep that commitment, too, that, that I don't want to really worry about, oh, well, crap, dude, this just 5x increased. Should I, should I cash out now? I kind of like the idea of literally not worrying about it whatsoever. <coughs> and just having it as a major, major passive investment. Uh, let's see, Chris, thank you very much for the super chat. Chris says, hello, everyone. Clay, why does this crap look different? YouTube changing their poo. Also, <laughs> only a few will understand this. Uh, d Chris, you almost had me not understanding. <laughs> Are we in some sort of a stinking time machine? What is happening right now? I don't even know what's... Chris, did you copy and paste from earlier? Um, did I fall and hit my head? Is it? Is it the? Yeah, it's the four o'clock live stream. It's the four o'clock live stream. Oh my gosh, dude! Chris actually had me a little worried there. Chris, please tell me that you haven't been eating so much lettuce that you forgot that you sent that earlier today. Uh, the last thing I want to hear is that Chris has eaten so much lettuce that he forgot that he sent that exact same super chat earlier today. Chris, man, the crap looks a little different because I am in, man, what deja vu. I am streaming in vertical mode, and uh, vertical mode gets shown through the, the shorts feed out on YouTube. So it's bringing in a lot of new viewers and a lot of, of new subscribers. Uh, the only downfall is that I don't believe you get shown an ad when you're opening the live stream. So I am essentially foregoing the ad revenue uh, on these live streams in order to receive roughly 100 subscribers per live. I very, very greatly appreciate any and everybody that is clicking the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. So thank you very much. And your name's going to go on the top of the screen for that. But at the same time, now I'm... Oh, God, he typed out... Oh, uh, but Chris... Just as long as you know that you typed it all out again, man. Just as long as you know. Because sometimes I worry, man. Sometimes I worry. <clears throat> and I was worried about me, but then I then I had to figure I might want to be worried about you. So, man. $18 strike on Mar 15 50 strike on CLSK. I don't know where Marathon Digital is at today. Let's just see where it's at real quick. 
Marathon Digital currently sitting at seventeen ninety eight. All right, so we sold those cover calls of the eighteen for four nineteen. All right, interesting, man. But you know what, Frank, you may have made a brilliant decision, man. You may have made a brilliant decision. There is a good chance, okay, and I don't know. It, it should probably already be happening, and I, I haven't followed these companies closely enough. All of them are going to have their revenue slashed in half following the Bitcoin halving if Bitcoin maintains the same price, but they have not you know, doubled their mining equipment. So there is a very good chance that you know you might not get called away right away by that. Uh, you're like right on the halving day too. That you might be looking pretty good there. So you might even be a little bit more aggressive too if you want, but completely up to you. Very very nice, Frank. I like it. Nah, I should have typed it all out. I can't figure out how to buy Doge Twenty. I'll show you, Jason. So first you need a ah. Uh, Jeremiah, let me, let me get let me get to you real quick. Uh, I, I'll get to you right after I show him. So in order to buy Dogecoin 20, first thing you need to do is click on the link in the description of my video, okay? Uh, you can also, you know what, maybe I'll just put it in the chat in a second here so that you guys can click on it if you want. So the first thing you're going to need to do, you can click buy now, and that is going to ask you to connect your wallet to the website. If you've got a MetaMask, you can connect it this way. Or if you click Wallet Connect, it is going to bring up a QR code, and you will be able to connect your wallet using the the QR code scanner in your wallet app. So if you get Trust Wallet, MetaMask, whatever, open up the QR code scanner and scan this Wallet Connect right here. Um, after you connect your wallet, it's going to show you if you have an Ethereum balance, if you have a USDT balance, or of course if you're buying on the BNB Smart Chain, you can click on this button right here. Now, let's say that you do have USDT. I don't know if you want 100, if you want 1,000, you know, whatever you want with Doge. You're simply going to type that in. You're going to click Buy Now. Now, when you click Buy Now, it, it's, going, it's connected to your phone. It's connected to your wallet still. It's going to ask you to approve the transaction. You're going to click the Approve button. Might say Approve, might say Sign, whatever. Then it's going to ask you to confirm the transaction. And you're going to click confirm on your phone since it's linked to your wallet if that's the way you're doing it and then when you click confirm it's going to say like processing or, or whatever and then maybe five seconds later you know transaction approved and this is this is going to show up here it says your purchase doge 20 454,000 at this point and then your stakeable doge 20 454,000 so it is that easy to buy doge 20 the thing you want to make sure if you are buying in is that you use use my link, man. I, I guess if another YouTuber or somebody else has, has very similar links from the same marketing company, go for it, whatever. But don't go out and just Google Doge20. Don't go out and just find them on X. Don't do that because there's so many scammers out there. I don't want to see you guys risking anything in, in terms of the sites you're connecting your wallet to. So click buy now, right? Connect your wallet. Once your wallet's connected, simply type in the amount you want to buy. Maybe you just like 500000 You want a nice round number, right? 500000 is going to cost you 110 USDT. So completely up to you on the amount. You can either type the amount in in Doge 20. You can type the amount in in dollars, um, in Ethereum, or however you want to go about it. But it is that simple to, to go ahead <coughs> and buy Doge 20. Jeremiah, thank you very much for the super chat. What's with all the fun? I'm trying to stay positive about shit, but everybody trying to drag me down. Cheer up, people. Cheer up. Jeremiah, I'm actually still very positive about shit, man. You know, some people sell their shit, and that is completely fine. I get that. Uh, everybody wants to move on. Everybody wants to, to kind of free themselves if they've been trapped for a long time. But, uh, you know, Shiba Inu coin is one of the most talked about. It's one of the loudest social media followings on the planet. Uh, it's one of the most highly recognized meme coins on the planet. I have no issues with Shiba Inu coin other than the Shiba Inu coin ecosystem team. I don't think that they're there for shit, right? Um, 
So that's my only hang up and hold up is the Shiba Inu coin ecosystem team. But I'm right there with you, man. <clears throat> Are there any thoughts about buying DJT, Donald Media stock, put options? Uh, many people think the basics will surely see it moving downward. <sighs> okay, Donald. DJT has experienced a nice gain over the last couple of, I think, I don't know if it's been a few weeks. As soon as it got approved. Let me move over so you can see the Weeble chart there a little bit better. Weeble chart's in the middle of the screen, right? DJT right now, $37.40. Down heavy from where it was on the approval, shooting up to 80 bucks. Now, here's what you got to watch out for, man, okay? This is the next level of support at $20. If and only if it falls through this level right here. So I'm going to put another line on the screen right now and just show you the risk you're running if you decide to buy these put options right now. So you've got DJT and it tested this 35 level, didn't break down through it. Came back, tested it again in February, didn't break through it. Tested it in March, couldn't fall down through it. Testing it right now and hasn't fallen down through it and in fact has a green day today. So this 35 level is seemingly a very strong level of support. So if you're going to be buying put options, to me, I would probably wait for a breakdown from here. This is essentially the, the most recent floor, okay? So it's like that never catch a falling knife. Well, the falling knife may have hit the floor right here. It might go through and come back down to this floor. So the idea of buying a put option on DJT would would be that you believe it's going to break through this level and come down here well d dude in all honesty i would probably wait for the confirmation before you buy because since the start of the year every time it's hit this level it has bounced off of it so that's kind of like the downside of buying a put option right now is you literally might be buying that put at the lowest level it's going to touch so that's why i'd wait for a break <coughs> in confirmation of the downtrend there However, be very, very, very careful as well because, dude, I don't care if you like the guy or, or if you hate the guy, right? Um, clearly, a lot of people are going to think you're correct and a lot of people are going to think you're incorrect on uh, whichever decision you make there. But you cannot deny that he is going to get all of the press coverage throughout the rest of the year. You cannot deny that. And the election cycle here in the United States really hasn't even begun to heat up yet. And when it does, I believe this stock truly could see some massive gains. So if it does fall back down to these levels right here, I don't own any of it right now, but I certainly would not be opposed to buying DJT either down here in the 20 or, or 15 area. I, I mean, it's just the way that it is, dude. It, it, you got to be careful of what names you say on YouTube. YouTube just doesn't like it. But this dude is going to be hyper-focused throughout the rest of the year. And I believe that that type of focus could lead to massive gains in his stock price. So just be very careful if you're buying puts. Please watch the technicals. But don't get burnt by buying a put just because you might not like the, uh, the situation. Or you might not like the guy as a candidate. I don't want to see you get burnt because of some of your, you know, emotions. So that, that's my thoughts on buying some puts on, on DJT. Uh, Scotty the AI soon 10x because of tier one listings. Mark, I, um, I sold my Scotty AI the other day when it hit 014. And right now I believe it's coming back down to test uh, 1.1 cents. And if it comes back down to those pre-sale levels, I, I have no issue whatsoever getting back in. Uh, let's see where it's at today. This morning it was 011. Uh, <coughs> yeah, 0116. Scotty down 10% on the day today. Um, it was right here. So uh, I had my levels of support on the screen, and I should have got out, you know, when it brought to the first level, but it was another 10% move or whatever. Fell through the second level right here. And I ended up getting out as it fell through my level of support back, down in this uh, one and a half cent area. Um, I got out on that breakdown. The next day, it, it looked like it was going to be a bad decision, 
but then of course it hasn't really regained that level with confirmation. So it is coming back down now. This 011 or one cent is basically the launch price. So this level right in here at about one cent is, is major support. And wouldn't be a bad buy-in opportunity if you guys wanted. They are going for more centralized exchange listings. So that could be an option for Scotty AI holders out there and something to look forward to. What do we think about Algorand, Doji Pattern? I, Algorand is not something that I look into you know, uh, uh, very often. I traded some Algorand back in 2021. I did very well on Algorand. And, and I believe that they have a, you know, a more fundamental blockchain in the sense that they're, a, and they're an investment and not just like a meme coin. So I don't think Algorand's going anywhere. And I think you can make a lot of money on Algorand longer term. Something a bounty coin can happen right now. Dark bro, a bounty coin might have to happen right now, dude. You you can collect from 316. He has them, Suzuki. <coughs> I missed what three... Oh, sorry. <coughs> Man, I missed what Suzuki said. Yes on Nyan meme coin. See where nine's at right now. 1986 uh, 86 Baldwin Vic. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. And if you guys want your name at the top of the screen, thank you very much. Oh, nope, not even going to tell you because it's not even up here. I didn't even set it up. I, uh, I got some more super chat fun. I got some more super chat fun. I don't even know if I should. I'm not going to tell you guys though. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, what was I just going to look at? Ahmed, thank you. I don't even know what I was going to look at, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, Ahmed, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Uh, Ken Chan. Yes, Catcoin. Let me show you guys. Let me see if I can find it here. Um, Katamoto. Okay. Katamoto is another pre-sale token that is coming up. And these dudes, look, th these guys, I'm in their private round. Okay. Th these guys have a huge pre-sale coming up. And they have massive amounts of marketing that is about to be done. So I, I want to show you this. If you guys are interested in some cat coins, uh, they've been doing pretty well with, alongside the dog coins recently. But this one right here, man, you need to check out Katamoto. Okay, uh, they're backed by Tencent. They've got a very very interesting strategy. They're only going to put, I believe, a hundred BNB, which is like fifty five, fifty six thousand dollars into the liquidity pool and, and 100 million Katamoto. So I think the price is like three zeros and a five or something. But the remaining like 19,900 uh, BNB that they raised during the pre-sale is gonna go into a bunch of smart contracts that simply just buy, 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 buy. So they're constantly gonna be generating volume and each buy transaction is is gonna be taxed, I believe at 1%, buy and sell transactions taxed at 1%, which I think goes back into the liquidity pool to continue increasing the price. So this is a very, very interesting token. I am in this, okay? It uh, It's not necessarily like a, a paid video, right? But you do get uh, this KOL round, this key opinion leader, whatever they call these guys, 5% um, of the total supply, 1,000 BNB total, uh, a buy-in, right? It's not like they gave you cat coin. It's not like any of that. So this is a Katamoto coin. This is something that I've bought into, and they're going to be doing a huge marketing push very, very soon. So think about that. In terms of if you guys do want to jump into this, it's always better to get into these pre-sales sooner because the price is always lower. So Katamoto, if you guys are into cat coins, you can check this one coming out here pretty soon. And I will have videos on it, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up because you're the stinking bros, man. Got to give you guys the, uh, the first taste there. And there's another one. Oh, man, I told you I had that link, but I don't. Here. Let me see if I could send you this link here. I don't know if it's going to work. If you guys are interested in a new dog coin, it's still very early. And I don't think I'll get a video on it, a video out on it for the next couple of days. 
But they're really going to start a marketing push on this too. So let me send this to you guys. Bros get first access, man. Yes. All right. No, I don't want that. Don't keep playing. Now, oh, whatever. <clears throat> All right, you guys got that that right there. I'm, let me pin that real quick. In case you guys just want to check that out. I, actually, I can pull it up and show you too. Frankie, 31 months of bro, man. I love it. Uh, I'm making a, to a token called Claybro with Wig. You should. You should. That would probably be one of the most epic tokens ever. Ever. Frank says, I'm attacking the premiums. Both strikes are right above my cost. Bought Mera. It's $17.98. And no, there's nothing wrong with that, Frank, because you're essentially guaranteeing yourself if you get called away. You're guaranteeing yourself, I think it was a buck thirty, man. It's almost like a 10% gain in the next 10 days. I mean, who the heck wouldn't want that? Bought Mara at $17.98, $18 strike, still SK at $15.32, $15.50 strike. Now we wait. We do wait, Frank. We do wait. And I think that any time you can essentially guarantee yourself, uh, I don't know what that ends up being, 8 to 10% profit right there, phenomenal, dude. Phenom I mean, that is a strategy that a lot of people don't talk about because everybody always just wants to hit a million dollar gain or, or uh, you know, a thousand percent return. Let me see if I can show you guys. Can I copy link? Yeah, copy that link. Let me see if I can show you here. No, that's too long. Hold on. I don't know. It worked. <clears throat> All right. If you guys use that affiliate link right there, they haven't even really started pushing this one yet. But Dog or Dogeverse is going to be another one that comes out here pretty soon. And uh, clear link for Katamoto. Johnny, I they they just released their website yesterday. Um, you know what? Hold on. Just let me see what that guy said. I don't think he sent me a, I don't think he sent me an affiliate link, but I, I want to double check. All right. No, I, I don't have an affiliate link for Katamoto. So... <clears throat> The best thing that you might do there is either wait until I do the video on it or um, or I could share that link to their website that's right there. I don't think they're going to give me an affiliate link for that one. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, guys, this one right here is still extremely early. They haven't even started. Like They just built this website. I got the link to it last night. And uh, they have not even started marketing this one yet. Maybe some guys were able to get a video out. But this is going to be another one, right? Uh, this link I got last night, maybe like 7, 8 o'clock. I don't even know. And, and these guys have already done $579,000 in, in pre-sale raise. This is going to be another one that I'm sure is going to be doing close to a million dollars a day in their pre-sale sales as soon as people start pushing it. Now, some people may have already, but literally just started yesterday. This one's going to be crazy because it's the world's first chain traveling dog. You can buy it on six blockchains. And then when you go to sell it, you can literally sell it on any blockchain you want. So it is going to be a multi-chain token. I believe it's going to be on Polygon, uh, Solana. I don't know. It says some here. 
Oh, so Ethereum, BNB, Polygon, Avalanche, Solana, and Base. You're going to be able to buy this token on any one of these blockchains and, and then sell it on any of the other blockchains. So really, if you want to bridge or you know wormhole, whatever, your tokens from the Ethereum blockchain over to Base, you'll be able to do that simply by buying this, this Dogeverse as well. It could be some sort of a bridge for you if you guys are interested in bridging tokens over. But with this one, please, these guys are tiny. They had 37 followers on X last night. And I'm not going to be able to pull them up because I'm not signed in here. But these guys had 37 followers on X last night. Probably have a few more followers now. But as they grow in popularity, uh, there's going to be more scammers for this one because they're not even marketing this yet. And it's still on 579,000. I don't know if this is the very first pre sale stage or if this is the second one. But the price right now is 00029. And, uh, dude, this is probably going to have like 10 stages or something, go all the way up to $10 million. So just know there's probably going to be 10 price increases um, by the time you get there. So even if they increase by, you know, 0 0.0003, 0 0031, 0 0032, you're still going to see like a 30%, I would say, roughly 30% increase. Uh, on the last pre-sale stage by the time that it gets there but be look how early this one is though i don't know how well you guys can see this website look how early this one is last night last night these rewards were at eighteen thousand percent for staking your your doge verse if you are a staker you are so stinking early in this one that you're currently going to be earning two thousand four hundred and four percent Earlier today, this was at 6,000% when I woke up. So please know that this is coming down, coming down very quickly. But holy crap, dude. I mean, if you're earning 2,400%, even if you get it for one, two, three days, uh, I mean, that's going to be massive, massive staking rewards that you're going to get by getting in early on this one. So just wanted to throw that out there to anybody. I'm not going to start doing videos on that. I don't think for the next couple of days, but definitely something you guys want to look at <coughs> if uh, if you want to. PK, PK, what? listen, I get that a lot of you guys think stuff is a scam, but why? Why do you think it's a scam? Any thoughts on green Bitcoin and Dogecoin, or did I miss that? By the way, cheers, guys. Uh, Robert, so you didn't miss Doge 20. Doge 20, you can still buy in, right? Doge 20 is is right here. You still got a couple days left to buy into this one before it launches. The current price is 00022. It's fu I don't have green Bitcoin open, but dude, green Bitcoin's actually doing very well. Uh, let's see. It's above a dollar right now. Dollar 21, man. Dollar 21. I'm in green Bitcoin at 80 cents. Now, I didn't go in as heavy on green Bitcoin as I did some of the other pre-sales that I've been buying into, but very, very happy right now. I'm up 50% on, on green Bitcoin. Uh, and I don't know if it's tomorrow or if it's the 11th. They've got their first exchange listing coming. <coughs> They've got their very first um, centralized exchange listing that's taking place either tomorrow or... Um, or the 11th. I'm not sure which date. I forget what their tweet said. But yeah, dude, I'm very happy with green Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, they've been doing nothing but rising up after the initial volatility that they had on launch day. And, and that token is doing very well. You know, everybody wants to hit a, a 500x gain or a thousand percent gain. And I get it, man. I, I want to hit that kind of a gain too. But when you're up 50% in... in it's, things are going good, man. It's a stinking win. A 50% gain in three days. Uh, Julian, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Guys, if you are brand new to the channel, please click the subscribe button. We need somebody reminding you guys. Somebody take it upon yourself to remind everybody in the chat to click that subscribe button. If dial up comes back, can someone let her know I got a weighted hula hoop like the one she has, and I am excited to try it. Dial up, are you in here? Uh, let us know, dial if you're still in here. Uh, let's see. Dogeverse does not do B. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Ken, bro, Do Dogeverse does BNB. Let me see where where they're at here. Uh, I gotta click on this one. Dogeverse is on six different blockchains. Uh, let's see. 
Dogeverse. Yeah, so if you want to buy Dogeverse, you can still see this, right? I know. All right, hold on. This one, move it over slightly. Okay. So if you are, if you do want to buy Dogeverse with BNB, you can currently buy on Ethereum. You can buy with BNB. You can buy with Polygon, or or you can buy on Avalanche. Okay. So you get those four options right now: BNB, Polygon, Avalanche, or Ethereum. I I I'm not sure. Um. If staking is available on all of those, or if staking is only available on Ethereum, I thought I read that it's only available on Ethereum, but I, I might be wrong. So you've got those four options right now, and then Solana and Base are coming soon. So you can buy it on BNB. And the cool thing is, right? If I understand everything correctly, you're going to be able to buy it on BNB, and if you want, you know, for whatever reason, if you want to sell it on the Ethereum blockchain, you'll be able to sell it on the Ethereum blockchain. If you want to buy on BNB and once Solana is hooked up, sell it on the Solana blockchain, you'll be able to do so. So this also could be a way for you guys to bridge your tokens from Ethereum to BNB or Ethereum to Polygon, Polygon to Avalanche, you know, whatever you guys want to do. Um, it is going to be listed on those six exchanges right there. And... Yeah, so step five, bridge or trade. Dogeverse will be tradable on all major chains and decentralized exchanges. Simply use the Dogever Dogeverse, Dogeverse bridge to easily switch tokens between chains. So, uh, you know, you guys are going to have a very cool opportunity. What I'm excited about, and I haven't done a video on it yet, and I, I probably should, but dude, it's, I mean, you're just, I don't know exactly what stage this is. It's very, very, very early on. And because people haven't started marketing yet, you know, they've done about 500,000, 581,000 in the last 24 hours. It's probably going to kick up to that million dollar a day mark. And, and it's probably going to be, um, I don't know where that was. Maybe right there. It's probably going to sell out quick like a lot of the other dog tokens do. Actually. No, now you can't see the... Hold on. I want to make sure that you can see Weeble, right? Let me go back here. Yeah, you can still see that. Jeremiah! Thank you very much for the super chat. Jeremiah says, Hey Clay, tried buying NFTs on Medix, but the site didn't see the Ethereum in my wallet. Yeah, let's see. Jeremiah. I did not buy any NFTs, but I, I think I might know what you need to do. Let me see if I've got that open. Uh, all right, hold on. I got to go get that link. This might be what you need to do because when I was looking at the like at the prices of everything I'm pretty sure I ran into the same issue. Okay. So when you connect your wallet, uh, I, I'm not going to connect my wallet right now. But I think you're going to need to move it over. I, I think it defaults to BNB. Okay. And you've got to buy the NFTs, I think, in Ethereum. So there should be, and it might be right here. Okay. And you might just need to like click buy on, on the NFTs or whatever to, for it to pop up. But you need to switch over from B, like the wallet reading your BNB to the wallet reading your Ethereum. And you might just need to click that right there. So I forget exactly what button I had to click. You might need to come out, click Ethereum, and then do that. 
Uh, yeah. Try doing that and see if that works, Jeremiah. Because I had to do the exact same thing. I went in to you know, mock up a buy uh, of the NFT so that I could see the prices and everything. And uh, I had to switch over from BNB to Ethereum in order to see it. So it might not be showing your BNB because it might be looking at the Binance Smart Chain um, on your wallet there. That would be my best guess because I'm pretty sure that's what it was doing uh, with my wallet. <clears throat> so I feel like a lot of these coins are scamish because all they do is randomly pump and dump. Then everybody expected to hold until everyone's rich. Chris, let me let me tell you what I have noticed. Okay, yes, you you are you're ninety nine percent right. Okay, and and by ninety nine percent, I would say it's there there is obviously one percent of the tokens or or some random percentage like that that tr legitimately are committed to building something huge and long-term. But there are pre-sales, there are tokens, and, and their entire intention is just to pump and then to allow the community to take over. Now, blame it on Shiba Inu coin, blame it on Dogecoin, blame it on whatever you want to do, right? But th these pre-sales, they sell a lot of these tokens, they sell a lot of money worth of these tokens. But all of these pre-sales, they what ends up happening is, is they launch above the pre-sale price. So immediately, everybody that bought in in the early stages, they're either making 1x, 2x, 50%, 30%, and so on. So you got guys out there that are just 100% committed to finding all of the brand new pre-sales buying in as soon as possible, waking up at five o'clock in the morning for claim day, claiming and selling in a matter of, of a minute if they can manage to do it that quickly. Now that in, that includes a, or that uh, results in a lot of volatility like you're seeing right here, okay? GBTC, this green Bitcoin did just that. I got in at 80 cents during the pre-sale. It came all the way up to about a buck 50, and I'm telling you I was watching it as it went live. It was about a dollar 50 for maybe 2 minutes, and then people began selling off. I know that the guys that are selling off are the ones that got in a little early, simply made their, you know, 100% to to 80% profit, whatever it ended up being. They sold off and then it started to stabilize right around the pre-sale prices of, of 80 cents again. A little bit of a dip down here, but it started to stabilize right here at this 80 cent level where a lot of people were able to buy in at. And then from there, it does belong to the community essentially. Now, I will say this, very few projects will have a team that is committed to seeing these things for years on down the road. That is going to be very rare. I mean, dude, just think about the people in your life. People in your life probably aren't even committed to tomorrow. Think about the people who aren't in your life, but you know you surround yourself with. They're probably not even committed to seeing tomorrow through. And that's you know the same thing can be expected in pre-sales. However, man, there's a huge opportunity to to play along with this game right here get in and take advantage of the volatility on launch day, which, there's, which there is a lot of. I mean, look at this coin. Dude, there's $4.5 million in volume being traded on launch day alone. And a lot of people did make a lot of money right here. Now, GBTC, since we're using it as an example, is actually working. They're going after centralized exchange listings and you've got the opportunity to make some money as they pursue those exchange listings. Same way Scotty did. It rallied into the MEXC listing, and I believe that Green Bitcoin can also rally into the uh, to the MEXC listing or whichever exchange they choose first here. So, Chris, you are 100% correct, man. Once the community takes over and, and the guys behind it start to fade away a little bit, it, it might be much more difficult to to see some major pumps and some major gains and all of that but it's so hard for me to say that it's a scam when there's not necessarily bad intentions. It's just, it's, it is that pump and try to, you know, dump 
type of a mentality. Also, the name straight sound like a fun, silly, manipulated detention grabbers. They are. Chris, man, it, it, it all boils down to marketing. And, and a lot of these meme coins, especially the fair launch meme coins, dude, I picture a bunch of guys, you know how they got those little, you walk by a playground in the movies or whatever, and you got guys like throwing money into a pile and they're rolling dice and everything. Dude, a lot of these meme coins, man, picture dudes just gather around a sidewalk, everybody's throwing money in, right? Everybody's throwing money in. Some people are taking some money out. The game is throw some money in and take a little bit more out. Now, you might have some idiot out there that just sweeps up the whole pool and everybody's mad and wants to beat them up on the way down. But, dude, it is just a game like that. You know, before these things develop, I guess, driven communities and committed communities, it's just a money grab. The idea is, though, you can play it. You can grab that money, man. A lot of these guys are not out to revolutionize the world. They're just out to make some gains and make some profit. Why don't you like Algorand? Dre, I do like Algorand. <coughs> Dogeverse, Robert, Dogeverse is what you're seeing at the top of the chat or the, the top of the chat wherever it's pinned on this vertical version. Um, that's the that's the link that I have pinned there, the top new crypto .care be Dogeverse. Um, that's the website there. Please use that link before you go out there and try to Google it or anything. Because the last time I looked this morning, their Twitter account or their X account only had 37 followers. So if you guys go try to follow a man, they could easily have scammers out there that are, you know, that have more followers. They might have scammers out there with very, very similar number of followers. And you guys are gonna get a bad link if you do that. So please, if you do find yourself just wanting to know more about Dogeverse or Doge20 or whatever, Please use the, uh, the the links that I've got. They come directly from the marketing team, that's like like the company that works with all of these pre sales to to market them. Uh, let's see, is AMC ever going to squeeze? Ken, if Adam Aaron continues to work for AMC, it will never squeeze. It's just I am confident in making that that statement. Adam Aaron not only ruined the squeeze, Adam Aaron will never let AMC stock squeeze. So, no. If Adam Aaron is in any way involved with AMC, it's not going to squeeze. I just had to switch from mobile to computer to be able to check or to be able to click and open it myself. Really? Miles, can you guys not are the links not hyper hyperlinked on um on mobile? Can you copy and paste it? You just get copied to your clipboard if you're on mobile right now and you want to use it. Look, you guys can't. I mean, you can Google it if you don't want to use my affiliate link or whatever. But I'm telling you guys, there's so many stinking scammers out there. I, I don't want you guys to buy into that. Full disclosure, though, too, because I always like giving you guys the disclosure. I have bought in to Dogeverse. Uh, I have bought into Dogeverse. Um, I used that link right there. I've bought in. I've connected my wallet. Uh, nobody drained my wallet or anything like that. I can still see my holdings when I connect my wallet to the website. Um, and I will probably be buying some more Dogeverse. I, I bought some last night when I got the link and, and saw how early it was. Um, I kind of wanted to gauge to see how fast they were going to be selling out before I bought some more of it. But I have bought into, into Dogeverse. Uh, Clay, went back to normal YouTube viewing mode. Suzuki, it, when one of two things happens... So I can either try to dual stream from uh, and do both a horizontal version and a vertical version on YouTube or when YouTube stops like promoting the content like they are right now. It, it, it does take a little bit of a hit to, to the ad revenue for me to stream vertical because they don't put ads on the vertical live streams. But at the same time, it's resulting in you know 10 times as many views. Instead of getting 500 views, it's getting 5,000 views, and it's resulting in 100 times as many subscribers. So it would be very difficult for me to make the decision to go to a horizontal view and, and forego 100 additional subscribers per live stream. With that being said, if you guys are brand new, make sure to click the subscribe button. We're here twice a day, and we have a lot of fun. Okay, got me 5 million Dogeverse. Can I, I forget how much I bought, man. I, I forget how much I bought, but uh, I hope we do very, very well on it, Ken. I hope we do very, very well on it. 
Um, and I like the fact that you guys got in early too. It makes me feel a little bit more comfortable because even if it dumps down like 30% on, on launch day, as people take their profit, we're still probably going to be pretty good because we, we got in um, on like one of the first rounds there. So it, you can afford to because the price is going to continue rising into the launch there. What's your opinion on Scotty AI current price? What seems to be gains in the future or is it busted thing? So I don't think it's busted, Ron. I don't think it's busted. Uh, I think that they are going after their second centralized exchange listing. And I think that when they get that, you're probably going to have another price rally up. Scotty AI's price, I want to. I want you guys to be fully aware, right? I did sell my Scotty AI as it fell down through the level of support right here. Uh, and we were talking about this last week when, when it was falling through. It fell through this support level at one and a half cents. I ended up selling, uh, I think it was somewhere like in the... 144 range, 146, 143. I, I don't know. Somewhere in that range right there, I did end up selling a, as it broke through that support line. Um do I am I concerned about the current price? No. I would be concerned if it starts to fall below the one cent level. It launched at one cent and and I think it should hold at one cent. It, it had a lot of buy-ins right here, and it had a lot of buy-ins right here. It actually dipped down to 009 here, uh, and people bought it up very, very quickly. So it does have a lot of support at the one cent level, and, and I think that it could pump after it gets that next exchange listing. My only complaint, man, about Scotty AI is that these guys are, they're not as active as they could be on X. Dude, when you allow two, three days to, to go by without posting anything on X, or, or on your social media platforms, it's like an eternity. And these guys go three, four, five days without posting anything, and I think that that's way too long. Clearly, I'm not running their X account, um, and, and they're doing whatever strategy they think's best, but I think that they could definitely improve their, their X. King Sydney, thank you for subscribing to the channel, man. What the heck can you, what is YouTube doing that you can't even copy that link? Dude, you guys are grabbing this Doge. Uh, hey, you guys are grabbing this Doge verse before I even post a video on it, man. I think that's a decent listen. I can't tell you if it's a good idea or a bad idea or anything like that. So, so please don't take my excitement about finding or getting these a little early because there are going to be a lot of them that come up. There's going to be a lot of these new tokens that come up. Um, well, this one seems to be selling out very fast. And I think you guys are getting in at a very early round, knowing that they're probably going to take a, a week or two to raise the $10 million that everybody wants to raise. And then they might take another week or two to launch. So you might be sitting on that pre-sale for a while, but I got to figure out why you can't copy this stupid link. Man. Dude, that is horrible that that link is not hyperlinked. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense that that link is not hyperlinked or copyable. Anyone else? It, oh, man. Can you copy it if you're on your computer? Can you copy the chat if you're on your computer? One more shib in Iotix today. Very nice roulette wheel. How you been, man? You haven't been here in a couple days. How do I buy Doge 20 on Coinbase? Or do I have to go to another platform? You, uh, Brian, you'd have to buy it on another platform, man. It, it's not tradable yet. So it has 10 days until you're able to buy it on the open market. You would have to buy it on, on their pre-sale website in order to get Doge 20. Best way to find Doge 20 is to use the link that's in the description of my Doge 20 videos. Okay, You can't buy it on Coinbase yet. Uh, please, I'm new here. It's my first time. 
Remy, I'm glad to have you. Remy, thank you very much for being in here. Uh, absolutely appreciate you coming in, man. Hopefully you subscribe to the channel. I understand it makes sense, Clay. So where do I send Moji's wood tokens to buy uh, to you to buy a new camera equipment for non-vertical view? No, you wouldn't need um you, you I wouldn't need any new camera equipment to do it. Well, all I need to do to see if I can vertical and non-vertical stream at the same time is watch a couple YouTube videos to see how I can set that up. I know I can set up uh, multiple live streams to take place at the at the same time. I would really just like to be able to do both of my outputs uh, at the same time to YouTube instead of doing one to X and one to YouTube. That way I'd be able to see all of the chat that they, you know, would show up in the same place for me. I'd stick to mid cap coins. These low cap market coins are way too volatile. They are very, very volatile. You are right on that roulette wheel. You are absolutely right on that. Uh, just getting on Scorp. I do not own any Scorp, Miles. Should we take a look at that? Uh, let's see. I need a minimum of one cent on these Doge coins. Dude, if they hit one cent, it is going to be game over, man. It is going to be looking very good if these coins rip up to one cent. Blame it on the cicadas. They're coming. I will blame it on the cicadas. When are they coming, Alan? I don't know when they're coming, man. Uh, the pin link is hyperlinked. When you click, When you clicked it, it bombs you out of the channel. I couldn't even click on it, Barry. I couldn't even click on it, man. Uh, those are, okay, it works on the laptops. Format sucks. Nobody likes this format, but YouTube is pushing it right now. Uh, I bought CatX. Very nice. More monkey business. Any good cat coins I could buy. Old Rounder. Honestly, I'm going to be doing a video on a cat coin coming up here pretty soon. And these guys actually have a very large marketing budget. Uh, not that one. This one. It's not out yet. Uh, this one's not trading. This is another pre-sale token, but Katamoto, C-A-T-A-M-O-T-O. -O. Uh, let me see how many followers. You want to follow them. You want to go see my follower, who I follow on X. And you want to follow these guys out there. I actually don't know where. I mean, obviously I can't send their link in the chat. So, Katamoto, man. Let me show you guys. This one right here. This is their X account. Okay. Katamoto, C-A-T-A-M-O-T-O. -O. They have 20,100 followers. And their at is for Katamoto. It's just the number four and Katamoto. That's their pinned post. That's their pinned post right there. These guys, they're going to be in the first stage of their pre-sale here very, very soon. Their website launched yesterday. They got a they got a very large presence, man. They got a very large presence. But it is 5 o'clock. So get you guys' names in the chat right now. We're going to do some shout-outs, and then we will be back tonight with videos at 7 p.m., videos at 8 p.m. I hope you guys watch all of them 10 times over, but we'll do these shout-outs. Thank you guys very much for subscribing to the channel. If you have not done so already and you are brand new here, please subscribe to the channel. I go live twice a day. I'd love to have you guys come back tomorrow, hang out, ask all your questions, get all your answers, all that good stuff, man. Lag, have a wonderful evening. Moji, man, see you later. More monkey business. We got Old Rounder, bro. See you later. Moji, we got Steven, Alex, Steven, Jerry, pa what is that? Patamat? Patamarit? Jerry? Jerry? Or you got Jari? Jerry? Ha, shout out to you, man. Ken Rose, see you later. We got Alex, more monkey business. Lag, see you later. Old Rounder, have a great evening. Gen G, enjoy your night. We got Alan, Suzuki, good night to you as well, man. Uh, good news, Gary, good news. See you later, Gary. We got Owen in the chat. Take care to you as well, man. Kobu, see you later. Chris, Alex, Jerry, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me, Alex? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Ho 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 ho! Kombu! I see you! Kombu! Thank you! Thank you very much for the mustache! Kombu!
Thank you. Kung Fu Man, thank you very much for the mustache. Absolutely appreciate you on that one, dude. Shout outs to Roulette Wheel, Alex, Jerry, Kobu, Jeffrey, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.